What's up, y'all? I was looking for here. And this video is about to be my dribble tutorial of my playmaker. So, let's first of all, I'm, I'm not going to do any of this dribbling from the start. Um, You came here to see what you want to see. So, let me go ahead and come to the dribble moves right away. So, we got ISO crossover lead 2. Now, listen, you're just going to want to copy this, all this stuff down. I'm not going to get into any bullshit talking about, like, oh, well, you could do this, you could do that. No. If you want to copy all my stuff, and you can, then you'll be able to perform the dribble moves I'm doing right now. So you can either trust me right now and just buy them, or you can watch the end of the video, buy them, then watch the video again. <laughs> it, it's whichever you want to do. But anyway, um, ISO cross Elite 2, ISO behind the back Elite 4, ISO spins Elite 5, ISO hesitation normal 1. This is a big thing that I use. Um, rhythm dribble Elite 6. This is, I actually like this. Um, the reason, I'll get into this um, in a second, but basically to give you some idea I like elite 7 because you can do a speed boost out of it but you can also do a speed boost out of elite 6 it's just in a different direction like I'll, I'll explain that in in one sec um, basic size up to elite 4 this adjusts how you do your crossovers and stuff so you're definitely gonna want to just put that on and just um, and do how I do uh, hesitation inside out um, that would be elite 1 crossover combo ugh, my bad. <laughs> um, crossover combo I have that on Curry. Now, I had it as Chris Paul. You see how nice this looks, but the way it messes with my dribble moves, it just does not work the right way. So I had to take this off. This is this is what I've been with since day one, man, and it hurt to rip the band-aid off, but it just did not work the way the right way with any of these moves. So I went to the curry and it's a lot quicker now too. Um I'll I'll show you the I'll show you the dribble moves in one sec. Um the Nick Young, the Nick Young just spazzes out whenever you get it to whenever you get the animation, bro. This shit goes so quick every time with like every move. Um and then the behind the back I have Jamal Crawford. Now I had Elite One for this too, and that was my day one. But it's just like I said, it doesn't work as well with the with the moves that I have. So I had to just rip the band-aid off and, and use those moves. So anyway, I'm gonna come into this and show you I'm gonna break it down for you uh, to begin with. So We'll start with the, you know, we'll go from the top. We'll go with the moving crossover. So obviously what you're going to want to do is just move forward and then hit the crossover. Um, so flick flick to the right on your stick right here while you're sprinting, moving forward. That's how you do that. Um, same with moving behind the back, obviously. Just flick down without sprinting. Um, spin, you can sprint. And, and just do the spin move. Um, here's here's the main moves that I use. So we'll start with the the normal one. Um, I think it's the ISO hesitation. Yeah. So you just you just flick away from the hoop and just and it'll just do this. Um, it'll just do this back and forth stuff. Like I don't know. You you can do what you want with it. It's it's a nice thing to mesh the mesh the moves with and just do combos and stuff. Um, so now I'll show you the crossover combo. Um, the Stephen Curry one. So what you're gonna want to do, without sprinting, flick to the left on the stick right here, like that, and then I'll just return the ball to the to the right hand, and then you're gonna sprint on the next one. So no sprint with sprint, and that's how you do the the little jump thing. So if I do it with no sprint both times, it's gonna do. It's gonna. I don't. It's it's not as big of a move. It doesn't. It doesn't like d do the jump that you that you would probably want. Um. So like I said. No sprint with sprint, and it's to off ball hand both times. Now, here's the cool thing that I mess this in with. The behind the back combo. So first of all, I'll show you the behind the back combo. Just flick down on the right stick without sprinting um, both times. So you'll do the that Jamal Crawford. Um, now this is to whichever side the ball hand is already on is where it stays. So I'm going to the right here. Then you come to the left here. So what you want to do Mesh the mesh the um, dribble combo or like the crossover combo. I mean, with the behind the back. So I'll take it from the top of the key here. Um, so, like I said, no sprint with sprint like that. But it'll be it'll be easier when you mesh them together. So no sprint with sprint, then double behind the back. So bang bang, bang bang. Oh fuck, my bad. I messed it up. Okay, no sprint with sprint, bang 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 bang. So you have that nice little combo right there of. Of just you go in the same direction twice and I love that I've, I've never had a combo like this that just um that just went to the right or like went to the left and then went to the left again like that that's pretty dope um now this right here I'll come back into the moves and show you um which which uh, move this initiates so the rhythm dribbles elite six 
and the basic size of the Elite 4. Take note of that. So the first one I'm going to show you is the Elite 6. The second one will be Elite 4. So, um, first one is you just flick up on the right stick and go to the off-ball hand. Now, no, some rhythm dribbles, like the Elite 7 one I was telling you about, you could flick it up and then you'd go to the to the on-ball hand, but that, does, that doesn't really work for this one. Um, and this one is the opposite way. So if I flick up on the right stick, I'm going to the left here because it puts the ball in my left hand. So um, here's the cool thing. You could just do this back and forth and um, and you don't even have to switch your, you don't have to switch your ball hand. You just um, flick up on the right stick from whichever direction you're going and then go in the opposite direction. So this is definitely something that I've come to like for the last few minutes while I was messing with these moves. Um, definitely, definitely a nice, a nice thing to resort to if you need to create some space. Um, now the second one I was going to show you, um, the, I think it was the basic, yeah, basic size ups. So if you, it's the same thing here. Go to the side that the ball is not on. So hold the right trigger and flick down on the right stick. My dude wants to hold the ball correctly. <laughs> um, hold the right trigger, flick down on the right stick, and move to the left in this case. So like that, and then, and then you can get a decent little speed boost off it as well. Um, definitely another move that I like. Um, those those are definitely a nice a nice little combo for speed boosting. Um, but yeah, the dribble combos are what I like the most, just because, bro, I can I can like do so many things out of this now. It's so it's so awesome. Earlier in 2K, I didn't really have any any moves that um, I had like my standing ones, but I didn't have the speed boosting along with it. So it took me a while to actually find um, all these combos and stuff that all work well together but now that I have it oh my god I'm so excited for this um anyway that's all for the video um if you're new go ahead and subscribe check out some other content I do bad tutorial videos um gameplays mixtapes all that type of stuff so if you're new just join the crew and if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comments on that take these man peace